ID EG, a new and safety option for initiating insulin therapy in type 2 diabetes mellitus patients. Presently, 415 million people are living with diabetes, which may rise to 642 million over the next 25 years. Insulin is the second treatment of choice for type 2 diabetes mellitus, if the individualized glycemic targets are not met in a given time frame. Hyperglycemia, is the main reason for initiating insulin therapy, in any patient who are taking oral or anti-diabetics. Therefore, the focus of insulin therapy, is to achieve glycemic control in the patients, without increasing the risk of hyperglycemia. The main objective of the study, was to confirm the efficacy of insulin, biglucic plus metformin, in controlling glycemia, by comparing the difference in change from baseline, in percentage of, HbA1c after 26 weeks. This is done in comparison of, IDEG, IGLAR, plus metformin, to a non-inferiority limit of 0.4%. The inclusion criteria, for this study includes, patients greater than 18 years old, patients diagnosed with type 2 diabetes mellitus, for more than 6 months, patients with, glycated hemoglobin between 7 and 10 percent, and insulin naive patients treated with different oral anti-diabetics like, metformin minotherapy, or insulin secretagogue. The exclusion criteria, for this study includes patients treated with higher as olidine dion, or glucagon-like, peptide 1, receptor agonists, and patients with chronic conditions, like recurrent severe hyperglycemia, uncontrolled severe hypertension, cardiovascular disease, impaired renal function, proliferative retinopathy, or macular degeneration, and cancer. The study design, is treat to target design, used to achieve improved and similar glycemic control, in the two treatment groups. Both logistic regression model, and negative binomial regression models, are used to analyze, the hyperglycemic episodes, in the treatment groups. The subjects were randomized into two is to one to once daily insulin deglutc, in 555 patients and insulin glargine, in 278 patients both with metformin. At randomization, all the subjects discontinued their, oral anti-diabetics except for metformin. The starting dose, of both the types of insulin products was 10 units, with dose titration each week. Blood samples were collected, for central laboratory, analyzed fasting plasma glucose test and, HbA1c, and measurements for 9-point self-measured plasma glucose profiles were collected, before randomization and after, 12, 16, and 26 weeks. Adverse events, hyperglycemic episodes, were collected throughout the trial, and other safety parameters were collected at the beginning and end of the trail. During the 26 weeks treatment period, mean standard deviation decreased, from 8.3% to 7% in both the treatment groups. The estimated treatment difference, insulin deglutc, insulin glargine was 0.05% points. This confirms the non-inferiority of, insulin deglutc to insulin glargine, in HbA1c reduction. During, complete trial period of 26 weeks, insulin deglutc, had a constant rate of overall and nocturnal confirmed, hyperglycemic episodes and, IGLAR, had a low rate in the initial part of the trial, and an increasing rate as the trial progressed. The rate of confirmed hyperglycemia, was 85 and 97 episodes for 100 patients, after years of exposure to insulin deglutc and insulin glargine, respectively. 
The rate of nocturnal confirmed hyperglycemia was 22 and 24 episodes for 100 patients, with insulin deglutc and insulin glargine respectively. Serious adverse events were reported by 2.9% of subjects in the insulin deglued group, and 3.6% of subjects in the insulin glargine group. 4 out of 18 events were considered probably due to insulin deglued, and 3 out of 12 events were due to insulin glargine. IDEG provided adequate glycemic control non-inferior to insulin glargine, and has a tendency of lower hyperglycemia rate. The findings proved that nearly two-thirds of the patients demonstrated that insulin deglutc is suitable for initiating insulin therapy in insulin-naive type 2 diabetes mellitus patients who are inadequately controlled on oral antidiabetics and require intensified and immediate treatment.